Oh gosh, that sounds exactly like Pee Wee Herman. Okay, anyways, for any of you guys who know who that is, yeah, he is a creeper. But getting back to what I'm gonna tell you guys today, that I have literally an hour and a half to figure out something for my guests to come over. I have about five people coming over, and so today I've decided because one of the things that are in my pantry are potatoes. I'm gonna be making mashed potatoes and country gravy. Oh yeah. So let's get in the kitchen and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and it doesn't even take, I don't think it even takes 30 minutes. It's super, super easy. So let's go. Make your rosemary mashed potatoes. You're obviously going to need a nice bag of potatoes, washed and scrubbed, and then you're gonna need rosemary. You're going to need onion powder. You're, whoa. You're going to need minced garlic, and of course, almond breeze, original. Go ahead and start getting your water boiling. While it's boiling, chop the potatoes. Our pot is boiling. Add the potatoes. Ooh, hot. Meanwhile, in another pot, prepare the rosemary infused sauce. Add almond milk, rosemary, minced garlic, and onion powder. Whisk it and let it come to a boil. Once it has boiled, let it settle. To know if your potatoes are done, poke it with a fork. It should easily go through the potato with ease. After the potatoes are ready, strain the potatoes and put them into a bowl, but save about half a cup of the potato water. Using the same pot that we use to cook the potatoes, add the potato water and add 80% of the cooked potatoes into that pot. Leave the 20% um, in the bowl for the country gravy. Begin mashing the potatoes, then add the rosemary infused sauce. Most of the rosemary has settled to the bottom, so don't use it. It will taste a bit bitter if you do. Gradually add more sauce to get the desired texture. Next, add some salt or pepper to enhance the flavor. There you have it, mashed potatoes. Your country gravy, you're going to need cooked potatoes. You're going to need some salt, some nutritional yeast, and obviously some almond milk, which I've put about a cup's worth of almond milk over here. And you're going to need some uh, soaked cashews, and lastly, basil. Today I'll be using my hand blender, so I'll toss everything into this bowl. Potatoes, cashews, almond milk, nutritional yeast, basil, and salt. Blend everything together. Add more almond milk as needed to get the desired creaminess. You can find this recipe details down in the comment below, and um, it will give you a link to my website that has the ingredients and the amounts. So feel free to check that out after you finish watching this video. And there you have it, country gravy. Doesn't that gravy look so creamy? Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I'm so excited that it's November because you know what that means, it's Thanksgiving. So hopefully you guys give this a try and put a little wow into your Thanksgiving because you know what, people really want that country gravy. And for those that have gone vegan, know that this is a deep staple part of the Thanksgiving festivities. So make sure you give it a try. I hope that country gravy inspired you guys to get creative in the kitchen. Looking forward to hearing from you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. May you live, thrive, and be healthy. Don't forget to veg about it. Bye, guys.